Hello. Today I would be demonstrating some of the more advanced features of Easy Image Pro Edition, which we have used for many years and have uh, had requests recently about them. The first is how to process round images in Easy Stamp or Easy Coin. We often get asked how our round images are so perfectly trimmed. Well, one way is to carefully separate the stamps from the sheets like they are in this one here as shown in Easy Stamp. This stamp is a, uh, this single stamp here is a cutout from the souvenir sheet that we processed in uh, Easy Image. Most people, myself included, would not break up a souvenir sheet to simply scan a stamp. I would simply scan the sheet and use Easy Image to crop out the round stamps. Here's the process. It may seem complicated, but I can assure you once you have done it a few times and understand the process, it will be second nature. It will become second nature to you. The first step is to scan the sheet of stamps or stamps in question. Sometimes they're not in sheets but are surrounded by salvage as in these examples I'm about to show you. So here's a sheet of stamps and here's some round stamps that have selvage on the outside perimeter of the stamp. I will work with the sheet first. So let's minimize these guys. We will use the selection tool to cut out a rectangular area around the stamp. Be sure to hold down the shift key and click on the crop icon on the toolbar at the top. So we click on the crop and now we hold the shift key and select an area around oops let me try that again. So we left click and drag around my image my mouse is falling apart here. Alright so we select an area Hold down the shift key and click on the crop icon at the top here. And now we have our area, uh, our, our cutout from the sheet. Once the new window is displayed, I'm just going to move it over a bit so we can see it here. We need to select all, which is control A. So hold down the control key, hit the letter A, and you'll now see the marching ants around the stamp. Then we do a control X to cut the image. And now we will do a control V to paste it back in. These shortcuts are in the edit and select menu. Sh I'll show you here. So there's the edit menu. And these are the shortcuts and the actions. And same with the uh, um, select menu. But most Windows users will know these as they are standard Windows shortcuts. Why do this, you ask? The cut and paste puts the image in as a floating image so it can be moved and positioned where we want it, which is the, to the top and left corner. You can use the arrow keys to fine tune the position if need be. I'm now going to position the image in the top left hand corner. So I'm going to just grab the image and get it as close as I can. I'm going to use my arrow keys and kind of get it exactly where I want which is where I want it which is where it is right now. Once the image is in the proper location we're going to right click on the image to set the floater in place. Notice how my cursor is an X. We right click on it and now it has been set in place. Notice the marching ants that are encompassing the entire window. Then we are going to left click on the selection icon and then select the ellipse icon from the toolbar which is this one here and now we are going to right click again on the image to lock it in place. Notice how my cursor has now changed into a, a circle which is a, a type of ellipse. Now the final step is to select the round area that we want. 
position your cursor to the very top left hand corner as close as you can get then left click and hold down uh, the mouse button and drag size until you have the area selected and release the mouse button so we carefully select the exact area that we want let go and now we have the marching ants around the area that we want now that we have the area that we want to crop selected we simply click on the crop icon while holding down the shift key so we go up to the crop icon hold down the shift key and left click on the crop icon now we have a perfectly round stamp properly cut out and ready to be processed or saved as needed I'm going to repeat this process now on a couple of other images I'll go a little bit slow or faster but I'll, I'll still describe the process so that you can see what we're going to, what's going to happen let's first close these guys here And now I'm going to open up one of the uh, other images. Just going to move it over a bit. So I'm now going to do a Control A to select all the image. I'm going to do Control X to cut it. Control V to paste it back in. And then just move it where I want it to be. If I need to adjust it, I can use the uh, cursor or the uh, arrow keys. When it's in the right place, I right click on it to set it. Now I'm going to click on the selection icon. I'm going to use the ellipse uh, tool. I'm going to right click on the image and then I'm going to go to the top left hand corner and drag size an area where I want to cut it out. I release the button, I hold down the shift key, and I go to the crop uh, icon at the top here, and out it comes. It's that simple. Some key things to remember. The purpose of putting the image, <coughs> excuse me, of putting the image to the top left corner is to have a reference, reference point so you can select the circular selection that you want. Otherwise, it will be trial and error to try and get the right size and get the circle around the, uh, the stamp portion that you want. Now, th as I said, this can also be used for ellipt ellipt elliptical stamps and coins. I will show you how we process our coin scans here. I prefer to use black backgrounds in our coin images. They are more pleasing than white, for me personally anyways. Okay, let's close these. And here is a Cypriot coin from uh, 2015. Here's another pro tip for you. This image is too big to display on this screen. No matter what I do, I can't get the whole image uh, to display. To fix this, we drag size the window so it's completely on screen. So we just grab a corner and shrink it down so that I can see most of it. So now, now what we want to do is fit the image to the window. So we go to the view, uh, view, fit image to window. Actually, that's not 